Whites can help us, but they can't join us. There can be no black-white unity until there is first some black unity. Martin was killed in February of 1965. I'm not sure of the date. I think it was February 21st. What date was he killed? 21st. Yeah. And my birthday was February 26th of that year. I turned 18. And I also went into the military on the day I turned 18 because I knew I couldn't stay in those streets. And being 18 and never having met Malcolm, but hearing him constantly, and, and the few times I was able to watch him speak, I was in awe, in awe. This was the clearest, this was like a diamond speaking. This was a clear person with clear eyes. You know how people talk and they're all shifty-eyed. Politicians, they're shifty-eyed. And, and uh, you know, leaders are shifty-eyed and they're all trying to push this or push that. This brother would look right at you and his eyes would never waver. And he didn't talk from his mouth, he talked from his heart, from his soul. And it reminded me, you know, of the great chiefs when they said, I will fight no more forever. Wrap your head around that language. I will fight no more forever. That means I'm going to kick your ass forever. Because to say I will fight no more forever. you got to wrap your head. It's like when Biggie said, uh, if you don't know, now you know. So you just got to wrap your head. It's like uh, John Coltrane never said a supreme love. He said a love supreme. Language is a powerful thing. My mother taught me language is power. When I went to high school, I had it on the wall. It said knowledge is power. But language is power because language is at the root of knowledge. So by watching him and then over the years listening, and damn it, now, all these years later, this is 2016, the conditions, the activities of the enemy, the stupidity of our people, the addiction to nothing, to drugs and stupidity has not altered. Our mismanagement of money, our lack of our own businesses, our lack of our own consciousness, our lack of our own unity, 